Well, hello and welcome to another update for the West Around the World uh, record attempt, the preparations of the Open 60 Pro in Nova Scotia. A funny day today, lots and lots of uh, wind, like 35 knots at the mooring and unable therefore to bring the boat stern onto the dock like we normally do and, and just work on board it. So it drove us into the barn and it's made us do some fantastic work. We had four people here today. We had myself, Ken, Mike and Jason. Very much uh, appreciate Jason coming up and giving us uh, the benefit of his knowledge as a chief engineer on a ship, which uh, we don't normally get that kind of royalty down here. But what we did is um, get into all of these jobs that we have to do. So here we've got the ballast pump. It's uh, been stripped apart from its uh, centri no, it's not a centrifugal clutch, it's an electromagnetic clutch that's on here. Basically you press a button, a clutch engages, and then the belts which have been going around on the pulley and doing nothing suddenly are engaged with the, um, the center of the pump and then the pump is pumping, that's where our ballast is, uh, is moved. Um, it's gonna have a little bit of a finish of a tidy up um, this, uh, well, tomorrow morning, I guess, and then this one will be getting uh, painted. Here we've got an issue that we're dealing with. This um, is part of the charging mechanism. We've got this carriage that holds the uh, big alternator and then allows us to connect the alternator to the um, front of the Yanmar engine. Um, it had got some damage on the edge of these uh, pulleys. So what we're doing now, we're just JB welding them back together. It's just the very tip of the valley that the uh, belts run in. So really it's acting as a guide, there's no pressure on it. So we're hoping that um, that will sort that out. It looks like someone's had a, a puller on it in the past trying to pull it and um, well, snapped it instead. So what else we got? We got um, the starter motor now is looking pretty, uh, pretty clean and tidy. You see everything's been painted up. Where it needs to be high temperature paint, it's high temperature paint. Other than that, it's um, paint which is suited to going on to these kind of components. It has an etch pipe primer built in. We've got the center of the heat exchanger here, all nicely been cleaned out. I don't know if we can see through there with the camera, maybe not, but it's, uh, it's all nice and clean through there. We've got um, some very swanky looking pipes. These pipes almost look like they're off like an MG or something. I'm very tempted just to leave them like this. We're gonna go for like a steampunk engine rebuild and you'll see what I mean about that. Uh, look, we've got a new, look at that. The guy was just a, a mess before and it's all cleaned out, looks fantastic. Um, the alternator has got a first coat on here. It's gonna end up having some contrasting silver put onto it, but um, you know, it just stops these things from uh, degrading any further. The engine room, unfortunately, on these kind of boats is a wet, nasty place and you just can't avoid it. Particularly alternators have uh, that positive lead coming into the back of them that leads to your battery bank. So if there is any moisture in the engine room, it's just constantly arcing between that positive lead and the body of the alternator, which is of course connected to the engine, which is ground. So um, you have to really, really make sure the back of the alternator stays as dry as possible. Otherwise you uh, experience a lot of um, degradation of the of the units, which is bad news. Um, here's the heat exchanger. We've got a coat of primer on it. Um, this is going to go into Yanmar Silver. This is the um, where the Morse controls. We have two throttle controls on this boat. One of them um, is connected in the cockpit and also engages the engine. The other one only changes the RPM and it allows me to set the RPM for um, for charging. So uh, that's the place where those two separate cables come in and then connect to the engine. We've got the turbo, and the turbo is an interesting one to look at because we've painted it. It's gonna be, um, you see this side looks kind of dull. It's got high temperature paint on it because this is the side that runs on the exhaust and it's gonna be very, very hot. This is the compressor side, and it's, um, it's, it's compressing the air. Obviously what happens in the turbo, if you don't know, <laughs> it's uh, the exhaust gases go into this part, spin the turbine up really, really fast. It's connected in here then to a different kind of fan blade which then compresses the air and charges the uh, the intake side of the engine, presses more oxygen in there, presses more air in there, and then has the engine has um, more air to burn. They can burn more fuel air, right? So uh, that's all done up nicely. We've got, uh, now this is where it gets a bit steampunk. And some people hate this, I kind of love it. <laughs> we got red tubes. I think I might have done too many builds on uh, like uh, sports cars or what have you, but um, it's kind of fun for now. There's like four or five coats on here. It may just be that it's uh, four or five coats of paint and then the top coat will be something else. But I, I said to the guys, let's just see what it looks like. It's gonna be silver and black with copper bits from over here and then some red tubes on it. It could, uh, it could really look a bloody mess, but it might, might be okay. 
Um, a few things we do have to work out. Oh, and we've got a few more bits up here. So here's the electromagnetic clutch off the ballast. Basically, um, there's belts going around on the front of this on that pulley system we saw, and um, but they are not engaged with the actual um, the pump. Actually, I suppose, sorry, they're on this end. So the, the belts are going around here, and then it's not turning the shaft up the center. And then when you engage the electromagnetic, uh, well, the electromagnet, um, it all clamps together and then it drives that shaft. You can see up here where this key is, uh, that then drives the pump. Um, and here's the front of it up here with the clutch in it. So um, they're getting the first coat of primer, then they'll go into probably silver, Yanmar silver. But then a few, a few little problems. Let's just uh, have a look at these. Um, uh, water pumps, Yanmar water pumps. Normally, you can get a service kit for a water pump and you can um, get a, a, a some kind of rebuild going on without having to break the bank. But unfortunately, uh, we seem to have the engine where that's not possible. So Jason very kindly took time and stripped this guy completely in pieces so we could really get inside it and find out what's going on. I have learned that if this was to go, if this was to start leaking at sea, I think my tendency would be to think, oh, I'll take it apart and replace the seal. I now know that's not happening. It's a mechanical seal. Um, it's a very odd bearing set. It's very difficult to get apart and basically just let it leak until you can replace it. So we've now stripped all the extra bits off it and that's unfortunately basically garbage. Um, meanwhile, the oil coolers, um, there, there was, some concern. I don't know if you can see on the, see where that kind of looks like it's a little bit, if I can get my fingers in the right position here. If you see in this area here down the bottom, you see it's got a kind of fluted shape to it at the end. It's actually worn away. Um, it should look like this. It should be rounded. And this has got this, it's got rusty and it's, um, it's unfortunately we've lost a lot of material out of it. So that's going to then go and be either spray welded or brazed and, um, and sealed up and rebuilt. I'm not about to go and buy a whole new one of these when we can just braise it back to position. So those two things, a little bit of a problem and our little chunks out of our pulley here, but all in all a very, very good day. Um, we've still got uh, a few bits of paint to put on. We've still got the Raycor filter down there, which we're gonna tidy up. And then of course, we're gonna be rebuilding that ballast stuff in the end. But today the back is broken of all of the things that need to go back in the engine bay. And the guys did a fantastic job tidying up the engine bay, just finished it up last night. We're gonna then go in and paint, get all of the um, electronics and get them all up nice and neatly on the sides. And I think we're gonna have a fantastic looking engine bay, maybe with some red pipes. So. Um, yeah, a good day and a great way of turning the problem of the the the, the wind and the and the, the rain and all the rest of the crap and just bring it in here. Lots of cups of tea, uh, radio on, uh, stinky, smelly, mechanicy people fixing things, and we've got a got a real result. So, oh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. We can get into the engine bay and we can get that tied up, and then that'll be Friday. And then it's Thanksgiving weekend, and that for me is going to mean putting the engine back together and giving thanks for that. <laughs> Join me for that. Cheers.